So now let's see how saving and opening files work out in Microsoft Windows 11. So to do that, first of all, I'm going to go around into the start menu right here and type in notepad right here. So once I type in notepad, an application pops up. So notepad is a simple text editor in Microsoft uh, Windows. So over here, I'm just going to say that this is a test file right here. I'm just going to type it. And if you want to save up the file, so whenever you type it, the file is actually just there in your memory. So if you were to close it, or if the computer turns off, the file is not saved. So for future access, you need to save the file. And to do that in most of the applications, so depending on the application, this might be different as well. So over here, in most of the applications, you click on file, click on save right here, and then choose the area where you want to save the file and then just rename the file according to how you like it. So let's say I'm going to name this as example and then click save right here. So once I do that, since I saved it in my desktop, you can see it over here. So you can close this and then if you want to open up the file, just double click on it and the file will be opened up. Alternatively, what you can also do is you can go around over here on the start menu, choose the application that you want to open the file with, go to file right here, click on open and then select this out. So you can see that that file is opened up. So if I were to go around and type in more information uh, and go to file and save it, what happens is that the original file which is opened out gets saved out. So if you want to, let's say, for example, uh, create another copy of the file, then you can go to file and click on save as. And over here, you can go around and say example to save it out and another copy of the file gets saved out over here, as you can see right here. And the another file is being edited out right here. So I can go around and then type things out, go to file and save. And now what happens is that the file gets saved in example two. So if I were to close this, go to example, you can see that this is the file. If I were to go around into example two, then this is the file as you can see. So that is how you can uh, save, then uh, open files, and then use the save as options uh, to save out files in different ways and open up files. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.